Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we are going to talk about the muscular system. You see them in some sports competitions on the television, boxing, MMA, and even bodybuilding. What do these sports have in common? Well, the people in them have big and firm muscles for fighting or just for show. Speaking of muscles, they are not just for show. If your friend is bigger than you or more muscular, that means he or she is stronger. Well, technically, you're not wrong. They could be stronger, but why? Let's find out. So what are muscles? Muscles are soft tissues found in some most animals like us. The main thing that muscles do is that they move the different parts of your body, inside and outside. So they're the reason that you can walk, you can run, and every move you do. These muscles make up the muscular system. They are found out right inside of our skins and they make up half of our weight. So if you are heavy, maybe you are more muscular than others. So what are they made of? Muscles are made of fibers. Each fiber is made up of long thin cells which are packed in bundles. They are like wires that are bundled together. These fibers have two kinds of protein, mucin and actin. Each bundle is wrapped in a thin skin called perimysium. Each muscle has lots of these bundles. The bigger the muscle, the more bundles of fibers it has. Now let's have a fun fact. Did you know that our heart is also a muscle? In fact, it is the most hardworking muscle since it doesn't stop beating day and night. Now how about the what's inside of our muscles? Inside the muscles, there are nerves that carry messages to and from the brain. There are also blood vessels that carry your blood and with it, the energy that your muscles need. So don't stress your muscles too much. They also carry the waste that your muscles give off when they finish using the energy. If you eat meat like the steak or pork chops, then you know what the muscle looks like. Now did you know that the largest muscle in our body is called gluteus maximus? Sound like a spell from Harry Potter. It's the main extensor muscle of the hip. You may know it as the large muscle in the buttocks. In other words, it's your butt muscles. Its main job is to support your trunk and maintain proper posture. Okay, let's move on. So what are the types of muscles? Some of the muscles that you have are attached to your bones and are called skeletal muscles since it is their job to move your bones. Some of them are attached from one part of an organ to another part, such as the muscles in your heart. Muscles come in four different shapes. Spindle-shaped muscles like your biceps and triceps in your upper arms are thick in the middle and thinner at the ends. You can even see its shape when you bend your arm up. You know that strong pose we do? That's where we see the shape of our muscles. Flat muscles are the muscles like your diaphragm or in your forehead. Triangle muscles are like the deltoid muscle at the top of your arm. These muscles pull your arm up when you want to ask the teacher a question during classes. Circular muscles are found in many parts of the body, including around the mouth, around the pupils of the eyes. There are two major kinds of muscles based on how they function, the voluntary and involuntary muscles. Voluntary muscles are the one that you can control. If you want to run, walk, ride a bike, wave your arms around, or eat your favorite sandwich, it is the voluntary muscles that you are using. Involuntary muscles are the ones that automatically move on their own without you thinking about them. But they are more important than your voluntary muscles. Why? These are the muscles in your heart which keep blood pumping around your body. These are also the muscles in your digestive system which move the food down to your stomach and keep moving it along your bowel until your tummies are satisfied. Then they work to push the waste that is left over out of your body. Did you know that some of your busiest muscles are those controlling eye movements? These muscles are constantly making adjustments as you read, watch TV, or look around you. In an hour of reading, your eyes may make as many as 10,000 coordinated movements. Now how do our muscles move then? Muscles move the body by contracting and relaxing. Contracting means becoming shorter. The muscle fibers slide together and stack up to make a flatter shape. Relaxing means the fibers slide apart 
and the muscle gets longer and thinner. Muscles that moves bonus act in pairs. That means that as one muscle contracts, its partner relaxes. Then their role reverses and back again. There are tiny muscles at the bottom of the hairs on your arms that make your hairs stand up when you feel cold or scared. So this is why we got goosebumps. So learners, now we know that our muscles are just for showing how fit we are. They also give a more important role in our bodies. So let's keep them in shape and exercise. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.